Well, turning now to something many of us are all too familiar with, the carjacking crisis in D.C. If it seems like we're reporting on them more often, that's because they are happening more often. Take a look at these numbers with me from D.C. police. This year, there have been more than 930 carjackings in the district. That's a 103% increase compared to this time last year, and police have already arrested 169 people. Six of those suspected carjackers were in a D.C. courtroom today, and prosecutors say they're connected to a bigger crime ring. Here's Delia Gonsalves. The courtroom was packed with family members today as all six defendants came into the courtroom all together, sitting in the jury pool. I was sitting behind Urshad Ellis Bay's mother, who was holding on to his baby brother. He was cooing throughout the court proceedings as the judge detailed the case against his big brother and his alleged co-conspirators. The teenagers accused of running a D.C. carjacking ring file into the courtroom handcuffed and shackled, wearing orange prison jumpsuits. The six defendants sitting behind their attorneys pleaded not guilty to a 19 count indictment, including armed carjacking, robbery of a senior citizen and conspiracy. The seventh defendant, Isaiah Flowers, is behind bars in Maryland on a separate charge. He'll appear later. This is not a game. This is the real world and there will be real world consequences. Monday, U.S. Attorney Mark Graves laid out the federal indictment against the serial carjackers who he says coordinated their crimes through social media and text messages, writing GTA IRL, which prosecutors say stands for Grand Theft Auto in real life. Back in August, an undercover MPD officer cracked the case, buying a stolen car out of this Florida Avenue garage. We know the young men who live in the Hendricks apartments have not been indicted, but help store and sell the stolen cars. Surveillance cameras capture the suspects in the act. Prosecutors said many of the teens live in Maryland and met at Flowers High School in Prince George's. Now they're all charged as adults with a mandatory minimum of 15 years for each charge, unless the judge imposes a D.C. law currently under review, giving anyone under 25 less time in the name of rehabilitation. Accountability is a critical piece of protecting the rights of others and the well-being of our community. I spoke to some devastated family members outside of the courtroom. They weren't ready to speak publicly. The judge ordered all six defendants held without bail. And as one of the suspected carjackers was being escorted out of the courtroom, he spotted his mother. He said, I love you. She said, I love you too. Stay strong in there. They're all back in court January 26th. Outside of D.C. Superior Court, Delia Gonzalez, WUSA 9.